Welcome to CPS YouTube channel. I'm Wei Zhang, graduate student in Virginia Tech. Today I'm going to introduce a test bed with DC power distribution and discuss its energy management control and experiment. A conceptual sustainable future home is shown in this picture with renewable energy sources such as solar panel and wind turbine. The grid connections through the energy control center so-called ECC converter interface in local utility and the future DC bus. Energy storage with lithium-ion batteries are used and energy buffer. What is more, plug-in hybrid electric vehicles are used as an extension of energy storage through the internal gas engine. To integrate all the sources and loads together, an AC nano grid for nearly all the components need AC to DC rectifier or DC to AC inverters, which is complicated and higher cost. While the DC nano grid shown in this picture will easily integrate all the sources and loads with minimum cost and higher efficiency, all the grid interface functions will be lumped into one converter, the ECC converter, and all the other sources and loads, which is only need one state converter to achieve all the target functions. The solar simulator is from Agilent Technologies. We have 15 machines of uh, solar simulator from uh, Agilent Technologies and each machine has two modules. Which mo each module can simulate the PV panel up to 500, 500 watts. To program in the PV profile, we can either type, type in, uh, in the front panel or through communications. In our system, we are communicating with uh, these 15 machines through Ethernet communications. Due to the mismatch conditions of the PV panel in the residential applications, the smart module modularized DC DC converters showing in the side in, in, the, in the side for each panel can extend the MPPT region for each PV emulator. So to make sure that uh, in even in the very mismatched conditions, there is still common MPPT region for the 30 panels in our system. Wind turbine emulator is shown here. It introduced two parts. The first part is a controllable uh, motor, which provides the emulator for the, wind, for the wind speed and the torque to the gener generator, which is exactly the same, same model of the generator installed in the real PV wind turbine system. To install all the 30 panels into the DC bus system, a DIN rail connector is used for easily configure the parallel and the service connections. For example, in our system here, we have uh, three strings. Every string has 10 panels in service connected, and the three strings are parallel through the connections, the red and the black wires. Another component is a lithium ion battery bank. This lithium battery bank is made from Saft, a France company. We have uh, six modules uh, in service connected, as we described before, and each module has 14 cells connected in service. The total voltage of the battery bank is from 252 volts to 336 volts. The maximum voltage is corresponding to 100% of state of charge. As you can see from the bottom side here, it is the communication and the, out and the output of the battery bank. The battery communication used in our system is the CAN communication bus. This is a test bed for the future home emulator. All the important components are sitting on this table for the experiment demonstration. The three converters are energy control center interface between DC bus and the local utility. The second converter are energy storage converter, providing the interface between the energy storage or the plug-in hybrid with the DC bus. The third converter is the PV converter, which interfaces the PV panels and the DC bus. There is another part showing here is the pre-charge circuit and the circuit breakers. The final part showing in this picture showing here is the communication wires. Nano ECC converter is a bi-directional interface between the local AC grid and house DC bus. It is a two-state topology and the power rating is 10 kilowatts. Control of the ECC converter follows the static rows showing the lower right voltage current characteristics. In the left side 
of the vertical axis. Converter running in regenerative mode and means the energy flow back to grid, while the right hand side is a rectifier mode, energy flows from grid to home. Between 370 volts to 390 volts, ECC converter regulates the bus with specified loop resistance. In addition, ECC also communicates with other sources for flexible energy management. The second component is solar energy. The PV prototype is a 5.1 kW boost converter with 20 kHz switching frequency, and the efficiency is over 99. The major function of PV converter is tracking maximum power point of the PV energy source. The static VI characteristics is a service of constant power lines. The wind system is shown in the right hand side, and its control in VI curves is similar to PV energy. Eight point four kilowatts biodirectional backboost converter is used to provide the interface between energy storage and the DC bus. The switching frequency of the prototype is twenty kilohertz with ninety nine point ninety nine percent efficiency. Control of battery converter follows the graph shown in the lower middle. Different with ECC converter, battery converter regulates the DC bus under three hundred seventy volts, drawn in the solid line, while the dash lines follow the current command in constant voltage charging mode and will not regulate the bus. Besides the battery's intrinsic management, it also accepts command from ECC by shifting the battery rows up for more discharge and down for more charge. The red shaded area is defined to be the forbidden region since the battery's energy is sourced to grid. What is more, battery's converter will also accept current command from energy control center. San Francisco in California are picked for the future home demonstrations. Solar and load power profiles are shown below. Solar is in pink and load is in dark blue. In winter, the load profile shows two peaks, one is in the morning and another is in the evening. While in summer, the load power and the solar power are reaching the full capacity and the load capacity is increased in dinner time. In the given electricity rate schedule, the on-peak hour is from 2 p.m. to 9 p.m., showing the pink shaded area and the corresponding electricity rate is around 40 cents. Power peak time have two sections, with a price of 20 cents per kilowatt hour. All the other time are off-peak hours. Utility company will buy the surplus energy and credit the customer through the net energy metering service. The objective of the energy management is to achieve annually zero electricity bill for future home. Here we are showing an example of the on-peak hours for battery discharge uh, during a day from 2 p.m. to 7 p.m. The upper left showing the components who is involved in the current experiment, and the bottom showing the control functions of each component with the battery initial condition 100% state of charge due to the noon solar charge. The first move of this experiment is the PV irradiation decrease, and due to the PV power decrease, more power will be supplied by ECC and the bus voltage drops. The second move is the load increasing. When the load increasing, and the cert given certain PV power, the ECC con ECC's power supply must source more power from the grid. As you can see, due to the two moves, there will be three equilibrium points shown in this page. The experiment in shown in the top validates the control laws we illustrate in the bottom. The, the upper left is showing the waveform captured for ECC converter and the upper right showing the waveform of PV converters. As you can see, the IS from solar power decreases corresponding to ECC converters must, the IG must, IS, IG must increase to compensate the PV decrease given certain load power. As you can see, the bus voltage is also decreasing. The second move is the load increase. As you can see here, 
because the load is increasing, the power must be compensated by ECC converters of IG increase and the bus voltage drops due to the droop functions of the converters. If the load is keep increasing, as you can see here, the ECC will go into the current limiting mode and the bus voltage will be regulated by battery converters. In these conditions, for major heavy load conditions, the load will be majorly contributed by ECC converters. How can we discharge the battery? We can shift the battery, battery's rows upward, and the new equilibrium point will be found, showing in the solid, solid dot. The experiment for this move of battery is captured in the upper right, as you can see. During the battery's discharging current increasing, the current for ECC converter is decreasing. So, in this move, the battery could share the load with ECC converters. That's all for my demonstration. Thank you for your attention.